Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. The Outcast Podcast. How you feeling out there? Only two more shows to go here in 2023. Hard to believe this year is flying by. I will be your ringleader here for the next hour. Mm -hmm. And we do have a bunch of outcasts representing the Hispanic and Latinos. We have the freaking Puerto Rican, <laughs> Ramo G. <laughs> What's up, Ramo G? <laughs> what are you making, some liquid IV there? Uh, you damn right I am. Get ready for You're the show. Get ready for some basketball. I got it all over my damn self. Look at you, and Kane TK board, with man. a sound effect board over there being a jack. <laughs> uh, representing the white people, the honkies, yep. we've got DJ Jacket. Tomcat. What's up? What's up? Hold on. I got to represent for real. Hold on. Boats and hoes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that sweater, man. That is rocking. Bro. That is. That's Jeez. awesome. Yeah, I like man, it. The dope. Nina, the Pinta, the Santa Maria. That almost makes up for the diss. Bang and bang. For those of you not Boats watching us on YouTube, uh, DJ Tomcat is wearing his new Christmas sweater. You he said is. he dropped 50 bucks on that thing. Hey, yeah, man. You know, rad. I like it. It's pretty that, cool. Yeah, yeah it's, it's worth like it. Worth it. Just an idiot. Looks <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> We have also Memphis on air. He's everywhere. He's That's a worldwide funny. traveler, and he's finally back here doing the show. What's up, uh, Memphis? How you doing? Hi, I'm I'm home. He did Hi. something for the first time today. Rode a four wheeler. How, 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 how did you enjoy that? Uh, I'm happy to say I'm glad I didn't crash. And the, and here's what, what's even funny. When I got on, I, I didn't know how to work the thumb. Uh, the throttle. Hey. Throttle. That's right? what she said. Hey. Oh, hey. <laughs> Can't work that thumb. How dare you? You guys are disgusting. <laughs> No, so I'm, I'm figuring it out, and Tom Glenn goes, yeah. don't hit my car. And I'm like, fuck, I got to figure this out quick. Thank God for you, because you was like, just ease on it. And I'm like, oh, I got it. I saw him hit and the throttle weird. I heard was, I was like, fuck that, <laughs> yeah, not my I car. Like, I was like, uh-oh. Yeah, it's, a, it's almost like a clitoris, yeah. that throttle. You can't yeah, just is. attack it. Dolores, you know? clitoris. Yeah. Dolores, right. clitoris. Some, some cars what? might like it. Now this, this is we were talking about that this is a thumb throttle. Yeah. And yeah. Ramo says he is a traditional gas rotation throttle. I prefer. It. But I thought maybe they had switched it as the in the modern uh, age or now that they realize I think when people get lose Safer. control, when they lose sure. control they fucking throttle that it. Makes and then they that makes sense. That yeah. makes a lot of sense. Sure. I can when see you, that. When you come yeah. off like a jet ski if you're gas in it, you just let go and you come flying. You yeah. Know, you go no, 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 totally. 100%. Totally I can see, see that. I watched a lot of those child TV uh videos and shit where they be doing that or they could have did it in front instead of having That's two brakes in the US. what instead of having two brakes have one throttle and one brake the front and the what are the you back what brake. are you talking about though? what, I what thought are you I was on the handlebars <laughs> you have two brakes on the handlebars That's true. and then you have a foot brake That's right. one of them should be a throttle and then the other one could be a front brake and then you got the back brake by the foot mm -hmm. so then that way because the uh, hand throttle like that would be pretty much easier to control. And if you lost control, like, you'd be able to let that go and still grab the handlebar. Uh, all right. Thanks for that breakdown sure. of the, of the four-wheeler. You, you pretty much just, brought the well, show. Do you, you ride motorcycles Speaking of right brakes, <laughs> you brought the show right to brakes. I did? Yes. Look at How? That. See what you did? Yeah, I, you guys can, brought it up. Nobody can keep up with your new analogy on how they should modify the four-wheeler. Well. Get why? with the program. Well, Gentry, why do you look like Hey, I work in insurance, dude. I, down, uh, the first thing that comes to mind is safety. I, I have my new goggles on because speaking of four-wheelers, that was my Christmas gift to myself was buying a four-wheeler. Oh, gee, Santa Claus so, is uh, so nice, isn't Santa he? Claus was good to me, so I I think I'm going to bring these type of glasses back. Were you a good boy? Just start. Well, I've been pretty bad. That's why. <laughs> uh, but I've been pretty good at it. So, I like uh, it. There you go. I like but, that. But um, I'm rocking my four-wheeler shades, and I'm thinking I'm going to start wearing these to the grocery store. You know, nobody can see your eyes. That's hilarious. Just don't wear a hood. It's going to be a new look. So Why not? What, uh, Christmas is, He's what, cool. how many days? Like 15 days away now. Maybe. I don't know. So, Ramo, what do you have on your Christmas list this year? What are you asking Santa Claus for? What would you, if you could get whatever you want, you know, within reason, what would you be asking for this holiday Oh, uh, within reason? I'm pretty sure I'm getting it. There's a... <laughs> Sure. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty sure. sure. I'm getting it. Yeah. No. Well, I just for me, it's a good time to get like dope tools. <laughs> that I, I like. I like getting. Tools. I just. I just collect them. Tools. Yeah. Dope like, ones though. Dope well, nice tools. ones. What nice. Nice dope. ones that you know that work well. Not like, like a some key bomb uh, thing for your dope. No. 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 Dope no, tools. No, no, no. That's, that's not that's tools for I, dope. No. Oh. You're a jackass. oh. <laughs> 
No, like, like, nice like tools like, and things like tray. like well like last year for my mother-in-law i got a hand chainsaw like that was dope so you cut bricks with a hand chainsaw i don't you cut bricks but like that's pretty dope i cut like a tree in my backyard with it like oh, a small tree nowadays i do like you know man stuff and i have uh, yeah, yeah 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 like i got a Kill uh, stuff cut stuff uh, a sawzall you know one of the other hand, like, tables, the little round saws. That's what we do. So, like, I, I like getting cool shit like that just to do, like, projects around the house. So, so Ramo's the tool, tool, tool man. Tool yeah, man. Kind of a tool. Bit. That's how, that's where I tinker. <laughs> what about you, Memphis? What's on? Uh, your, I know you don't celebrate anything, but let's just say you happen to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what would you want Santa to bring you? <laughs> <laughs> He's a dick, dude. Oh my God! There's got to be something that you'd Celebrate like. Celebrate getting presents for sure. You're not gonna ask your wife, you know, to get you something. You're not gonna get her something nice for the holidays. Well, I'll get her something nice, but you know, what you give me? You know, I can't. Oh, you say can't it. say. All right, yeah, she, sometimes she listen. And, I forgot. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, I forgot. I, I forgot. I can't what, say, what, what would listen. be on your uh, Christmas list this year? Uh, well, de- definitely getting laid for sure. Um, nice. I don't know, man. Like, some like. World peace. I ain't gonna lie. You want That's world, dope, world man. peace? Yeah, of course. Yeah, motherfuckers chill out. Want too, yeah. Motherfuckers cool out. World peace. Oh, I got it. Let's have fun again. World peace. Definitely have some more fucking fun, Rainbow. You're absolutely right about that. And get motherfuckers paid, paid. Like, everybody. Like, get everybody There's paid. There's enough money out there, man. Yeah, yeah. Use the suck. There's enough money out yeah. there. Nice. So, the more uh, money people make, the more money that should go into the economy. Memphis wants people yeah. to get paid, including himself. Uh, Hell yeah, we want man. all of us. Of course. Yeah, I'm Ramo Me first. wants tools and yeah. <laughs> Tomcat. What is on your Christmas list this year? I would like a DJ controller. Really? Yeah. What? Which what, one are you looking at? Yeah, what brand? What you want? Well, I'm not. Just anyone's fine. Really? Just throwing that out there. Dude, my boy Shane just got the new one that Serato put out. It's the Pioneer, the, um, I think. The Pioneer. Yeah, it's, it's the. Uh, it's the, it's, it's the pretty. New, it's um, dope. It's nice. It's, um, d- but. For me, like, you really have to get used to, like, the scratch mode and all that. Mm-hmm. And you can because I've seen videos of people, like, getting sick on it. Oh, it's nice. But for me, like, it takes me a while. Like, I'm still getting used to CD players. Got to get sick with the dope tools. Ron Brown. <laughs> Ron Brown. Ron Brown. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. I'm having fun with my tools. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Getting sick. Yes. It is. Oh, uh, it is becoming the end <laughs> of the year. Dope. We said it's only what? Uh, it's only 12 days away from Christmas. Uh, oh, don't you us. ain't got a goddamn, uh, what do they call those calendar things that you count back on? There you go, advent calendars. No, I just used uh, the mathematics I learned in elementary school to figure nope. out today's the 13th. To get yep. to the 25th, Fifth. you're going to need 12 days. days. So, so ain't this so, a time like that one song where you get like... You know, oh, yeah, so 12, what was on the 12th day? 12th day of Christmas, yeah, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. No, that's number one, ain't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, because you got like... <laughs> nice try oh, there. Shit. Glasses, boy. <laughs> got him. So the good, news, the good <laughs> news is that everybody that we put on our death poll uh, up to yeah. good. December the 13th is still alive. Good. So it right. actually could benefit you to be on the death pool because we're terrible at predicting who and I'm is going to die that. next. Are we getting that. paid if they die, though? So is that really a good thing? <laughs> Yeah, I but mean, that's on him, not no, us. I'm just kidding. We're, we're totally kidding. Yeah, we're just pawns. Boo this, man. Your, 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 your moral. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. You, high, you got yeah. high, low morals, I guess. So, so I had Dick, Dick Van Dyke on my list. And, Dick uh, Van Dyke. His birthday today. He's 100 birthday, years old. Dick. Nice. 98. He's only 98? I thought he was 100. today. He looks wild. Like Cornelius from Planet of the Apes. That's Shitty. Dick Van Dyke. That's Dick Van Dyke, yeah. Dude, holy shit. He's, he's looking better than us. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's still flipping over uh, couch ottomans, but it's not for comedy he, anymore. Yeah, no. <laughs> and having J- a hard time getting up. He's looking better than Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter. Showed only up old people like would understand Play-Doh. that joke. Who was, yeah. on, uh, who was on your list, uh, Tom Cat? I had, uh, well, I got William Shatner, and I got, um, who's the other That's person? Terrible. The piano man. El- uh, Elton John. Elton John. Oh, that's yeah, terrible. Yeah, Elton John. Oh, that's right. You did have Elton John. They look like they might be the same person. I'm not sure. And who did you have on, oh, no. on your this list? Point. Memphis, who did you have? Uh, Kanye. You had Ye. Yeah, yeah, Kanye. Look at him, man. Look at him. What is going on here? I'm he's, telling you, man. He's a healthy fucking, young man. He's going to be around surgery acting crazy for 50 more him. years. Watch. I don't know what's going His on head with is him, getting I'm skinny. Really, I'm concerned about him, you know. And who? Well, then he's not taking steroids. 
Who did you have on your death list? Uh, unfortunately, I had to have somebody on there, and one of the people that I could think of at the moment was was he our president at the time, or no? Nah. He was he already gone? Yeah, yeah. No, but I regret that. I wish he's dead on nobody. His picture they got a, I like Memphis Donald Trump. His head was right on his uh, butt. Yeah. As a person, I like Boom. Donald Trump. Boom! It's back. I just don't think he fits our country well. He's not good for us in here. Yeah, but you put him on de- your dev list, number one. I He was the only person I could think of, man. We smoke a lot of weed in here. I ain't hey, thinking of shit do, like you that. You know what? We do that's smoke pretty, a lot of weed. That's, that's pretty terrible he, shit. He wasn't the first person to come on my list, and it's shame on me because I had Patty the Bear. <laughs> you know, did. I should know better. Come on, man. I She's know a queen. Better, man. Golly, I should have man. Patty so, uh, Damn, so I Dick gonna, Van yeah. Dyke, uh, William Shatner, Kanye, Donald Trump, they've all escaped our death pool. I'm glad. At least uh, yeah. for the whether there's about 16, 17 days <laughs> left in the year. You got that right? I think so. What? 16, 17 days what if, like, left in the in the rest of the year. What if like somebody on your, that's on your death list <laughs> did unfortunately pass away before the year is over, like right at the last day? Stop it. Do you get a uh, you double still, your you, pay? You still get the money if he dies by December 31st at 11 59 All right. I want well, to I mean, say, I'll I don't say this. Say, right, I'll don't say this like, right here, <laughs> right now. If God forbid it doesn't, but if mine does, and I only know one of mine, I would request that my money that I want be made to like buy flowers and send to the funeral oh get the fuck out of here yeah man no, you wouldn't yeah i would now you're trying to make us feel bad yeah, no yeah, hmm? he is. Man, no i huh? just think is that I what think, you try I, to do i think yeah, it's a horrible trying, thing trying that we it. did get, thanks no. to our fearless leader over i get it there. you can do no, whatever this you was, want with your money and this was not my idea this was tom cat's girlfriend's should, idea oh, so geez, just when you so when you say wow. that you think you're like, I don't know oh. how he goes home to a woman. She's the one that gives me these ideas. So she does. Remember that. God. Yeah. I'm glad <laughs> I've only met her me. once. Holy shit. That's right. Shit. You don't want to meet her. That's crazy. That's right. <laughs> Let's move on. That's, That's a wild. lioness. <laughs> I just wild. lay around, you know? Wow. Like, I'm yeah. scared. Let's move on to our next wow. topic. All right. Uh, which is something that is killing people. Oh, shit. Uh, Panera Bread. You what? know, it, it is actually killing. It's not the bread that's killing people. It's the, uh, <laughs> it's the lemonade. These oh, charged. I heard about uh, this. They call Lemonade. them the Sorry. charged drinks. They come in three okay. three flavors. You can get yes. blood orange. Uh-huh. And blood indeed. That sounds good. Uh, you can get the strawberry lemon mint. Lemon mint. You can get the uh, charged lemonade. That's the one that seems to be killing people. <laughs> no white peach, charged apparently. Up. And they also have the mango yuzu citrus charge. Mango? That just sounds wrong, man. So just we do have right. a, a news story here. Roll the tape. Speaking of mango. The, the restaurant truck. chain Panera Bread is under fire again today. A new lawsuit is alleging the company's caffeinated charged lemonade is responsible for a death of a man in Florida. Now, the family of Dennis Brown says he there had he three cups of the charged <laughs> lemonade, then suffered a cardiac arrest later that day. The lawsuit claims a large 30-ounce charged lemonade from Panera contains about nine, 390 Damn. milligrams of caffeine. So just for context, you would need to drink 11 and a half cans of Coke to get an equal amount of caffeine. Oh, I do that That's every day. Wild. Oh, boy, fuck that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I do not. Damn. That is a do lot. Do they not know how to dilute they shit? Well, uh, I would imagine perhaps it was a... Oh, I don't that know. That's still like- a lot. They shouldn't serve people more than one or two, like, top. Now, Tomcat, I see you come in here with those bang energy drinks all the time. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, I, I love them. And, uh, how many, I get banged up. How, how many milligrams of caffeine Good are in one here. of those? Do you uh, know? Probably, like, well, I do know that it's, like, five or six cups of coffee. Gotcha. Which That's is probably about 250 <laughs> milligrams. 300. Maybe about 300. half. Half of one of those. So this guy drank three, though. I mean, that's kind of pushing the limit. That's like 900 milligrams of uh, of caffeine. That blood orange sounds great, though, to mm. be honest with you. Can Florida you get it without man. the caffeine? <laughs> I don't Man, think so. Yeah, that would be good. This I, had I to be Florida so. man to do it. Can you get a decaffeinated version? What, can, what, what else can Florida man do? Ah, I got an idea. I'm going to drink three of these motherfuckers. Is that a Florida chain? No, Panera. Well, Panera is uh, they a, across the country. Hmm. But the guy who did this was in Florida. I wonder what county he was in. I want to take a bet. What, what county do you think it was in? I'm, 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 I'm gonna say you say uh, Dade. Dade County. I'm gonna I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say uh, 
fucking uh Well say something. We're on the show here. <laughs> Shit. Uh, we got ten more seconds here. Hillsborough this County, Hillsborough. Tampa? Yeah. A tampon probably did it. Oh. Uh so so be careful out there if you're drinking the Panera yeah. charged drinks. They if you have three of them, they could kill you. Just have now, one. Do you think this is gonna because they uh, sometimes people say any publicity is good publicity. Do you think this is going to increase sales of this charged lemonade, or do you think that people will shy away from this Tomcat? Um, well, people are stupid, so they'll probably buy them. You think this is good publicity? <laughs> good answer. Yeah, there'll probably be a TikTok challenge. <laughs> oh, and no. Good oh, answer. No. Yeah, it probably, sales will probably oh, skyrocket. No. They'll start chugging them like beers. It's going to be a lot of sleep. <laughs> it's making me want to try one. You know, I don't no, know if I'll drink no, three. No, how about not, not say insane? Yeah, man, I can't afford to. My blood pressure is already too uh-uh, far. Though. No. What about you, Tom Cat? Will you drink one the next time you go to Panera? No, I don't really want to have a heart attack at Panera. <laughs> I usually just like getting the mac and cheese. <laughs> yeah. It's delicious. Yeah, he uh, has enough to... problems in the bathroom <laughs> later. <laughs> now you got to Maybe some constipation. I'm good on a heart attack. Mac and cheese. Fucking shit, yeah. All right, yeah. let's move on to our next topic. Uh, be, right. be careful out there. The Panera charge yeah, man. are very dangerous. Wow. They're coming after you. We're coming to, you. <laughs> we, we've said it earlier on the show. We're coming to the end of the year 2023. And so Google has come out with their most searched things of 2023. They're coming uh, out. They have a marketing campaign that they just put out, uh, I think, in the last 24 hours. It's called, your, <laughs> it's called Year in Search. If we could uh, roll the tape from the truck. Uh, we've been searching for 25 years now. 25 years. For what? We've been Google searching. 25 oh, years. Nice. Watch this clip here. No, don't worry. Here we go. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Liftoff of STS-7 and America's first woman astronaut. But in a moment, the 1980s will be arriving. What a decade 1980s, the most searched decade. Wow. Soccer. Because we were awesome, I told you. Soccer is the most searched sport in the world, according it's to It's foosball, this Gentry. Ronaldo. Foosball. Football. Oh, there's Ronaldo. The most LeBron. searched MVP, LeBron, LeBron James. James. The most searched cricket, cricket player. I don't even I watched, watch cricket. I watched cricket when I was overseas. It's actually really good. Pokemon. Pokemon is uh, search. Potter. I just like to say. Oh, Pothead. Harry Pothead. Homer Simpson. Simpson. They've been around forever, dude. Homer Simpson is the most searched Simpson character. That character is based on a Ramo. A lot of people don't know that. It's true. So, uh, so they just came out with this new marketing campaign. We've now Dope. been searching on Google for 25 years. Wow. Do you remember the first thing you Googled, Tomcat? Shit, no. Was it porn? Probably. <laughs> I don't remember. It was probably MySpace. Yeah, I remember the MySpace. No, it was way before that. But I, I do remember in the beginning of the internet, which may be crazy, I don't know. I was really into Googling all types of like morbid stuff and crazy stuff. Like, how far will this, thing, what will, do they have on this thing? What can I see? And I would look like at pictures of crazy stuff, videos of wild shit that, you know, I wish I hadn't have looked for videos of. But that's what I did in the beginning of the internet. What did we did? What did we do before we uh, could search on the internet? I guess we had to get an encyclopedia. Yeah, no, uh, a phone book. Shit. Yeah, a phone book. Well, yeah, get how, some how numbers. Are you, how are you going to read about the war uh, in Call the phone people. book? Well, no, definitely not. But I'm saying, like, if you were trying to locate somebody or something, like, which is something you use Google for now. Yeah, it had a whole physical address and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see. Everybody in the neighborhood, like, oh, we, I ain't know the motherfucker stay right there. I, oh, okay. And now all these, uh, what, 25 years later? How many years later? 25. 25. 25 I use it like a set of, like my brain. Like, I'm learning, <laughs> how, I'm learning how to play the guitar. Uh, nice. He started showing me, but I mean, the fact that you can keep it going. I've, yeah. All the stuff that I'm learning about producing music and everything. You want to learn how to fix your car? You go on YouTube. I mean, yeah. it's everything we do. I want to learn a song lyrics. I want to... Hey, what was the capital? You know, sure. you're in a conversation and you're like, what was the name of that? Boom. You're on. I mean, it is. It's my brain now. It's, it's crazy. And we were like uh, either graduating high school or <laughs> freshmen in college when this shit came out. I like how they pinned to me whenever he said that. What? Like I was going to say some clever shit. 
Nope. They knew. We knew that. No. Yeah. No. Uh, no. We knew that I'm wasn't good. coming. Yeah, yeah. We're good. Yeah. Oh, I do have some more information on this uh, Google <laughs> list. This is global search yes. trends. Uh, the number one news search trend that's out there uh, across the globe is the war in Israel and in Gaza. Mm-hmm. Also, the Never up, heard on, of it. up on the list, the Titanic submarine. You remember that when it exploded? Oh, uh, that was crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the earthquake in Turkey and then a couple hurricanes. People, the most uh, searched person in 2023. This is a surpriser. Damar Hamlin. Who's that again? That's the uh, football player, I believe, that played oh, for the oh, yeah, Buffalo yeah. Bills. And his mom disappeared. No, no, he Killed died. Him. Like died on the on the field, but then oh, they yes, brought him back. Right. They brought that's him right. back to life. Yeah. Yes. He's playing Spot now. His, his heart stopped. Heart He's stopped. playing again. Yeah. Yes, that's a miracle. It was against Cincinnati. Tough guy. I believe that's Demar Hamlin, right? Yep, am I right? That's him. Uh, that. Jeremy Renner. Who the hell is Jeremy Renner? Do I? Am I let me look it up here. That's Hawkeye from the Avengers. Okay, yes, he had a, a really bad accident on a snowmobile. Yeah. Oh. And he got real banged up. So that's yeah. up. that's why died. people are searching him. Yeah, he hopefully died. he's coming back to the Avengers, which sure. Memphis should be happy about. Yeah, and they, it, I think they just greenlit Hawkeye too, which is Did super they? dope. Yeah, and then Andrew, like Andrew Tate is also a hot name. I never really got into the Andrew Tate. Me neither. He's just some goofy ass dude who talk too much shit. What is it? I don't know. Ain't nobody. Special. I never heard. Oh. He, he was a guy that was a misogynistic. Uh, he's used to pretty much put women in their place, you know, make me a sandwich. Men are the dominant force. He had, a cage he, fighter. Yeah, he had a, uh, a okay. strong stance uh, in his manhood. And I, I believe he got himself into trouble by saying yeah. certain things. And oh. Got kicked off of Twitter and then got banned on YouTube. And then I think he had to go to jail for a but while. Kicked off of Twitter. Twitter. That's right hard now. to do. All right, uh, I want yeah, I want to see you say this next Twitter. name, Gentry. Why 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 I uh, like what it's, he what, what was he trying Mbappe. to prove? Mbappe. Mbappe is the uh, soccer player, football Mbappe? player. Mbappe. Kylian. Kylian. Mbappe. Who? I don't know how to say his yeah, name. first name. He plays for. Uh, yeah. You said, English, the, you said the last name better than the first name. Mbappe. Damn. Well, that's usually that's all they, they say. Mbappe. Mbappe. And then Travis is, like, is that Italian? Travis Kelsey. No, never heard of him. Travis Kelsey, number five. I'm surprised Taylor Swift isn't on the list, but I'm glad it's her birthday. Not Happy birthday, Swift. All the Swift. Not Today's her birthday? It is her birthday. She's oh, 23, I think. Little She's little Time bitch. Magazine's Person of the Year. She's 23. This year. Good for her. How long has she been fucking 23? I thought 23. she was 22. No. As long as 22. Wait, no. so yeah, 22. So no, 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 wait. She's 34. Okay. She's 34 yeah, today. I'm like, man, she. She yeah, she's a little bit older. She's been there for notes. a minute. Yeah, that yeah. bitch crazy. Stay away from her. Do you know who uh, was else? Uh, you know who else was in the running for Time Magazine's Person of the Year? You'll who? Be, uh, it's Me? very surprised. RuPaul. Uh, Barbie is one of them. What? What? The girl who played. Um, Bar- no, the just who played? no, just Barbie. The well, doll, the, the actual doll, the doll, the the brand. I, you know, so they kind of got could have gone either way, really. It's kind of the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then also uh, former President Donald Trump's. Prosecutors, uh, that, oh, that wow. they were in the running. That's hilarious. Uh, really? And then also King Charles the Third. Okay, right. I, I can see him. King of the castle. King of the castle. Well, <laughs> well did his mom just die this year? Yes. Uh, yeah. he, he got to be now. He's the official he the king. Uh, he's king. Coronated yeah. as the big king. 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 He the king around here. So, uh, so yes. And then moving on to the things that are searched in 2023, uh, the the most searched. Death of the year was Matthew Perry. Yeah, that's sad. Followed by Tina Turner. Oh. Sinead O'Connor. Who's yeah. Ken Block? I don't know who Ken Block is. Uh, Anybody? I don't know, I don't know. but no. still sad. No, I know the Springer guy, though. Jerry Springer. Jerry Springer. Jerry Springer's Jerry. fifth on the list. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he was on my list. We got to go no, back to that tape. Ken I need Block. To check. We need Let to me check. look up Ken Block. He went, no, no. We need to check, man. I'm Can you guys me. pull up a picture of Ken Block in the back? What, what episode was that? Yeah, I don't know who uh, is. He is a race a car driver. Oh, okay. He's a race car driver. That's why nobody Rally knows driver. Yeah, I'm surprised we Comcat knew, didn't know. Because we had these glasses on. Yeah, oh, both of you guys should have known. Shame on you guys. He's one of these race car drivers. You're a hero. Shit, that shit looks fun. And he died in the race. Does. Them cars go fast as shit. Ricky dude. Bobby. Was he eating NASCAR? You either first or you last. I wake up pissing excellence. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a great move. Shake and bake. Yeah. I shit greatness. <laughs> I'm the magic man. So uh, musicians me? that were searched no, the don't. most in 2023. Let's hear it. Shakira, Shakira. Mm. Yeah, them she hips don't lie. As fuck. She uh, got in trouble too in, in Spain. She now she's one of the people that's taking the the kind of the HGH or you know the she's taking sure. human growth hormone. She's taking she's yeah she's taking these regenerative 
stuff that make you younger. I do believe. Really? Well, yeah, that's what beautiful. people are talking about. She's one of those people that are doing this stuff. Does it rejuvenate the uh, your Wahoo? Well, they got it surgery might. for that. Nice. Yeah, yeah. designer vagina. Yeah. You have I know her, yeah, her yeah, husband. Her well, husband fact. just like, they just got a divorce, yeah. I think it was this year. And yeah, she had she tax Last year, they made a song well, about it. she had tax year. problems. You wonder if maybe she filed that divorce to save him from having to pay. Because she had uh, tax evasion charges yeah. against her. She really? It was like $14 million. She just or, negotiated a yeah. deal. Stayed or out of jail. What was that? See what happens when you get rich. Uh, mm-hmm. So we have. I can't uh, wait to have those problems. Joe Jonas was also on the list. Smash Mouth was on the list. Joe Jones. And uh, one more. We'll, we'll look at <laughs> one more is the movies. Uh, Barbie was the most searched movie, followed by Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. I, I can't wait to watch that. That oh. looks very interesting. I keep yeah. seeing the, uh, That's the, guy the trailer that, on Prime. That commie piece of trash, Oppenheimer. He, he designed the uh, nuclear bomb, right? He did the some atomic bomb. Something like shit, bro. No, not the guy, the movie. Oppenheimer. Is, yeah. it, is it on Prime? It is. I think it's oh, it now is? out where you can yeah. stream it. You, yeah, you can stream it. All right, cool. What was the movie watch. Jawan? I never, I don't remember that movie. Jawan, J-A-W-A-N. Don't know the movie. I don't know. Jawan Man. Sound of Freedom is also on the list. And John Wick, Chapter 4. That nice. sounds good. John Wick is John Wick, shit. Yeah. You have you seen any of the John yeah, Wick Yeah, I've films? seen all of them, mostly. You see, It's all about I his have. dog gets killed in each one, then he goes and kills everybody. He does. But it's yeah. awesome. That's the Keanu Reeves is dope. Man. Play. That's the you know who I feel you like, on your side. Like, hey you, man, don't make me call John on you. you. And you know who I feel like he got this from is John Wu. Maybe that was the director who did all those ones with the with the Asian guy who did all the gunplay in this movie. Um, you know what Chow I'm talking Young about? Fu. Chow Young Fat. Is that him? And the I director think, was John Wu. But okay. th- this is these movies, right. these John uh-huh. Wick movies. They uh-huh. just they they're basically like those movies. Are they? Totally. It's all gunplay. Huh. It's all. But, but, yeah, you know, yeah, no, like, I love it, dude. I think it's, it's so badass. dope. I don't get to watch them much because, you know, people in my house are very oh, they don't sensitive want... to oh, that. Oh, no gunplay in the house. Well, I do sometimes. I do he sometimes that I get to watch film. that. I watch, like, Constantine. I'm a big, uh, I like Keanu. Sci-fi. Keanu. You're more sci-fi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Me too. Yeah, I don't dope, like man. to shoot him up bang, bang either. I'm not into the gratuitous I'm a little bit. I mean, if it if it applies... And I like it if it's here's it may be weird. I like it if it's some type of you're shooting some type of creature. It may it could even look like a human, but it's got to be like a zombie or it's got to have mutated in some form to where it's got a virus. Then it's cool. Now, what <laughs> what about shooting people in video games, Tom Cata? You're constantly playing that game. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cap them you don't down. care about that. Fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Call of Duty. I play. I'm like addicted to do it. I play. Do it you have day. like a, a controller that's shaped like a gun that you can? No, 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 no. Oh, you just why PlayStation. Not? <laughs> How's Speaking of uh, shoot 'em up yeah. games, uh, yeah. I think we have the trailer uh, back in the truck. They could roll that. The GTA trailer, GTA Six. Oh, are we gonna get in trouble again? Uh, for this? I, don't, I hope not. Let's see if well, what happens. Why? On, it's out on the internet. Yeah, so last it's time we got there. we got pulled. That's because we leaked it. Now it's out. It's, it's officially out, out. If we could roll the GTA trailer from uh, the truck. Here we go. Here's the trailer. Look away, Rima. Oh, now it looks good. Why, Dick? That's Florida, baby. Yeah. Can you get this oh, for oh, Xbox? Bad luck, I guess. That looks great. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Gra- look at those graphics. Fuck that's wow. amazing. Can you get this for Xbox S? You're going to be able to get it for Xbox and PlayStation, I believe. Nice. The swamp boat. I'm going to have to get it's it for the boys. That looks like Miami there. Oh, yeah, that's dope. Yeah, that's it definitely is. Miami. 95. Uh, Best little Haiti. Magic City. Uh, in the oh, the old by Star. On the South the Beach. Beach. Yeah. At the club. Oh, now, see, that looks like our area over here real quick. Look at that. Sanibel. No, it's still Miami. Yeah. Oh, alligator getting pulled out. Oh, look at that, twerking. That's definitely some Florida man shit there. Oh, police are coming in. Sonico. Now, Memphis, you said you've never played this game. No. Really? Now you're into the Florida man shit. Oh, yeah. Yep. Got the heat on him. I mean, this is kind of our life growing up, this but I will really be playing this game. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm watching my life, but it'll be I'll a definitely lot, be playing this. It'll be a lot more fun knowing you're not going to get arrested for real. Sure. Not Look at this that. part. I Ooh. didn't do that. Oh, yeah. That I can't nice. wait. Yeah, that's that was fun, cool. dude. Shit, yeah. I'm into that. It's coming in 2025. We got to wait a we gotta whole other year. Got to live that year. long? I'm going to order it. I think I'm gonna get that order now. Yeah, I'm gonna get that. That's that's fucking. That dope. is dope. That it is, is dope. fucking dope. Now, do any of you guys play video games? Is anyone else playing a game now? I play Call of Duty. I'm I playing the Star Wars game as well. My kids play Call of Duty. I Fallen. I'm waiting for them because oh, I don't want 
God's sake, it's seven. But I know they're not going to watch. They're getting both getting new systems for Christmas. Mm-hmm. Which system? You I want to get. I want to get. Uh, I want to get the uh, some sports games. I told. I told one of them. I'm, hopefully, my older son will ask for like maybe an NFL Madden. or basketball. I but you know I heard hockey is fun as fuck. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so I want to try time. the NHL hockey. That shit looks like fun. Game. Yeah, I love hockey, especially when the fights break out. I'll be Connor Connor <laughs> Bethard. <laughs> Now, before the show, let's move on to our next topic. Uh, our friend Tomcat revealed something very <laughs> embarrassing. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't even know what you're talking about. This is disgusting. Turn, my, not, turn my sound on. It's not even embarrassing, oh. dude. It's, it's disgusting. Boom. It is it's, it's very disgusting. So, Tomcat can tell the story better than I can, oh. but just to give a quick synopsis, something about him taking a deuce oh. because he was upset because he couldn't get into a party. Can Aww. we get some theme music for him for doing this? So Can exa- we give him a little, little, little nah, And give you him wonder why. Now this- why didn't they let him in? Please, tell us, Tom Cat. Why the fuck would they not let you in the party? This story goes out to my good friend, Jason. <laughs> so my, my buddy, Jason, was living. My buddy, Jason, was living with my, my other friend, Pat. I think I know and Jason. And we was at parties at their house after the club. I came back to the, from the club, which was downtown. Probably Gentry was DJing at the club we were at at the time. Awesome. I DJ there about G that Money. Time. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they weren't there. They either hadn't got there yet or whatever, and we wanted to get in and party down. And so uh, I don't know if I had the idea. I <laughs> shit in this uh, Big Mac box and then threw it on their back slider window. And, man, it, it was the greatest, the biggest deuce ever because that thing just stuck to the back yeah, window. F- fucking you are a sick. It stuck, stuck to the oh, back window. Shit. Yes. <laughs> And the fucking, I guess they didn't come home for a while wow. or didn't see it until the next day. So by the time the next day came in, it was like hard on it. <laughs> what shit on the He's what fucking it? disgusting. My friend Jay, my, this is before cell phones. My friend Jay was like, my phone was ringing. I was sleeping in the next day. You know, I, I already forgot about shitting in the box and throwing it on their window. Totally forgot. So that's, you explain to me, you just said you hilarious. shit in a box. <laughs> so so how, tell us play by play how this went down. Like you actually took a box and you took a Jeez. dump in. Well, there was an alley behind their house, oh, and I fucking, like, that makes sat it up better. against the wall there, put the box, like, underneath me, and then you kind of pull down your pants, crap, down the wall. How many turds did you the drop box? in their box? Oh, I got some good ones in the box, because that shit was all on so the So maybe, like, here, here's the thing. Maybe, here, I'm, I'm going to come up That's with a synopsis. Here we go. He walked, he walked, listen, he, they know this area. He walked all the way from McGregor Boulevard all the way to by Cypress Lake Middle School to come beat my ass the next day. That's and hilarious. Listen, when he got there, I opened the door and I was laughing so hard. He didn't attack me because I was laughing when he opened the door, but he was like, clean that fucking shit off that window. And uh, I had to go down there and clean my own shit off that window, which was terrible. I oh, would uh, hope so. Uh, yeah. I would hope so. That's I'm guessing disgusting. you you got there drunk and all fucked up and you had to take a shit. Yeah. Oh, the and nobody shit. was there. Yeah, I couldn't get in. And so they you did it and you were mad at them because you couldn't get in the house to go take a shit. I think that might have been part of it. Did you wipe your hands at least? Well, I'm not sure about that. No, part. maybe no. The part of the Watch box. He didn't. He, that's, that's disgusting. Just, you're you're a fucking. I, I bet I still got co- laid that night. I was good. <laughs> I hope you walk really home. Did, did you walk home? <laughs> no, you walked home, didn't you? <laughs> you like damn, this girl's <laughs> like just, he's sweaty and shitty. I'm All on top of me. You're not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it, it probably was flying Fort Myers where he lives. So what's that smell? Now the other story you told before the show, which makes <laughs> Shit me your pain. question our <laughs> question our friendship. Oh no! You said that you would get drunk at people's houses and they would piss you off, so you would piss in their trash can. What, what the fuck is that? What is wrong with you? Yeah, I was wasted. Probably you would just it. urinate in people's trash cans? Yeah, I would just kind of veer off into the trash can right there. And just kind of so in the, ba- <laughs> in the bathroom. He's laughing about it. Not He's like up, fucking man. laughing. Still- oh, yeah, I'd get a phone call the next day. Did you pee in my fucking trash can? <laughs> well, they knew it was you because you're the only douche canoe that would do that. I yeah. would assume. Because yeah. uh, <laughs> their fucking eight-year-old knows better. <laughs> Tom <laughs> Cat cannot come back over to the house. You've been banned from so many houses. Yeah, yeah. These are the two things, right these now. Are the things that I can remember I did. Because my grand. memories are, of course, just like Charlie Sheen in two categories. Things that I can remember and things that I don't want to remember. Yeah. Well, what, did, what did your friend's think, parents think about you? Were you allowed? Were things you, that I can't remember. Were you like the kid that wasn't allowed in anyone's house? Sorry, yeah, sorry Tom, you would, can't come over. Yeah, mom said would, you're not allowed. No, I would hear this phrase. You're a bad influence. My mom said you're a bad influence on me. You're not allowed to come over anymore. Mm, That's funny. On the bad influence tip. 
I'll tell I will say this though. He did come to my house in the 90s after a rave at a club in Port Charlotte. It was the first time I ever met him. We this ended up driving good. him home. No, no, no. You were a great guest, and we oh, had yeah. a great time, and we hung out. Sure. But there's an asterisk that go to it because oh, we, we had copious amounts of drugs, and we were partying all night. So there was no reason for him to be an asshole. Did you check your trash cans? <laughs> yeah. Did you uh, pee? I'm sure know. my ex-wife did. You check your slider no, windows? No, I didn't pee in Ramos' trash cans. See? Th- this, that was the he drug era. See, that was the thing about when you get into the more of the drugs, they make you more, like, paranoid. You don't want to pee in somebody's trash can and then get all caught and then get in trouble when you're on drugs. If you're going, if you're drunk, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're yeah. like, fuck this yeah. motherfucker's trash can. We were pretty house. shitty too. Alcohol mm-hmm. makes you a fucking asshole. It, it does. does. It does. Yeah, it it's does. alcohol. Straight yes, up alcohol. It's the worst. It. No, no. I mean, it's good. It's cool. No, it has I its like purposes. Tequila, so hush your mouth. Uh, yeah. it if, you get, if you get drinking good, yeah, that's cool. I, I had a great time stuff. on booze. Yeah, nope. I ain't giving that up. So, Memphis, you said you had a story that you wanted to tell on the air. And the memory that Tomcat gave us this morning sparked you wanting to tell this story. <laughs> did you shit in the it box did. too? No. Oh my oh, god. It's even worse. So what did you Check do? He, he did something to the box, <laughs> something else to it. So <clears throat> me and my, me and my girlfriend it's for now sale on wife, eBay. Okay. So my had, previous uh, just started dating. When I say just started dating like maybe a, like 3 weeks, maybe 4 weeks, right? And so we go to this party. And me and her just wild, and we'd like to have fun and shit. So we had been drinking throughout the day. So we go to this party and everything. Mind you, I had hit like seven different bars, and I got ice that night. Remember that time when people get they give you one of those off ice, be like you got ice, and you got to get on one knee and slam it. I don't remember that. Well, no. yeah, yeah. Trust so you me, got you got ice. Where was I, this at? This is at this one bar. I forget the name of it. But in, it was in, in Florida? It, yeah, Naples? Was in Naples? Is it yeah. called the Pussy Hole? No. Was, I've been there. No, I was kidding. So anyway. <laughs> what is your ice, deal, dude? I got ice that night. <laughs> Sorry. So anyway, so fast them. forward to the party. Everything's going swell. People drinking, having a good time. I'm like, it's a kick-ass fucking house party. Did you just say swell? <laughs> this thing's going real swell, dude. This shit was fucking swell, dude. It's Friday night. Right, all right. Hell yeah. Just and fucking the leave it to Beaver. This is on. how we do it. Yeah. Hey, fuck yeah. I'm, I'm in a good fucking zone. I'm in good space. So you did say that, and I, I like that. I'm I'm good, I'm, I like that for you. I feel good, too. Yeah, yeah. I'm feeling it's it for you. It's a good vibe in here today. Oh, yeah. So anyway... This party's jumping, and I'm like, uh-oh, I got to go take a shit. And you don't want to be like the person taking shit in the house with a gang of motherfuckers having a great fucking time. But I'm like, no. this might be the time to do it because I can't go outside and take a shit, which I thought about doing it. Yeah, but yeah, I want to get, get up against the wall. I told yeah, you. Yeah, and he'd be like, yo, Marissa, your boyfriend out here taking a shit. Yeah, that'd be she worse. all in bears? That'd be worse. Nah. So I'm like, fuck. All right, I'm just going to hold it for a while. And good thing people started leaving. And I'm like, all right, cool, so I can go in and take a shit and get out and be straight. But what I forgot was I was really fucked up. And I mean, fucked up, fucked up. Then I like, I while I'm taking a shit, I got a puke. <laughs> so yeah, it gets crazy. That's real drunk. It, <laughs> That's real drunk. No, it gets yep. crazy. So my mind was like, That's let funny. me puke in the tub. Ugh. Cause at least I could turn the shower on and can go down the drain. That's a good I idea, it. but then the little chunks might not. No, I I make sure that motherfucker oh, spotless. I make sure that motherfucker right. But I decided to turn my head to the right and puke. Oh, no. in the sink and all over the floor. Oh no. Oh, and, disgusting. But then there's more. I pass out. Oh. Pass out. In the bathroom. In the bathroom. Door locked. No. That's oh. fucking hilarious. <laughs> that is funny. So they were in there when you woke up. My girl, now my wife, she's going to see this and be like, what the fuck, dude? It, it, it's funny to her, though. So she found me, like, fucked up. And she cleaned me up and shit, cleaned up everything. And then I'm thinking, I'm like, man, I really fucked up in there. What I remember. And she cleaned all that shit up. Lucky didn't hit I'm your like, head. Yeah, I know. Hey, you better Good put thing. a ring on her finger. Glad yeah, you I, did. I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to marry this crazy-ass woman because she's she crazy, crazy enough to... Take care of me with that in a very embarrassing moment. Yeah, she she got a, had a last name. I had a similar. Now you sure she well, wasn't her that slipped a Mickey in your drink? She could have done that shit too. I can see her doing that. My current <laughs> my current <laughs> wife I saved you. <laughs> did that for me. I love it did, did something very similar for me. That's funny. Good story. I like it. 
Do you have an embarrassing story, oh, Raymond? I, I'd be telling the exact story. same story as him. We had a birthday party for me at Cache, and I was, uh, you know, obviously I was still in radio. I was just got with my wife. Now we were still we were dating. We had just started dating. She had a brand new Celica, and uh, she drove me there because you know I was hanging out with the freak show. Obviously, I was going to get super obviously. fucked up. <laughs> And on the way home, I decimated her car. Oh no! With just vomit. Oh yeah, like oh, and she wow. was just she was she was like, "You're lucky you cleaned that up," because I was thinking about leaving you at that point. <laughs> so I was like, "I wouldn't blame you." That was kind of fucked up. I, I mean, I didn't mean to do it, but you know, we had a good dinner and. Yeah, see, you know, all's well, it ends well. Yeah, it yeah. A, you ever, you ever, but I mean, we had a good dinner that night. You ever have to do night, the old so. lean out of the car while it's almost still moving and puke out the door? Yep. Shit. Oh, I, hell yeah. I didn't even, I didn't, <laughs> that was just, that's why she was so pissed. I didn't even drunk. attempt that. I just. You you tell your friend bleh. to pull over and they just pull over and you're just like. I just threw up. Fuck you're it. in the door. Yeah. I. I don't I don't get that drunk no more. I take an Uber. No, no when way. I, do. I quit drinking like yeah. I don't drink like that. Ten years ago. Like no when more. you out when like man, when I be out and like have a night out and just to kick it, and we be kicking it, you know, and I be meeting random motherfuckers and shit just get crazy next thing you know, you're like, whatever I like to drink, I'm got like six of them motherfuckers in me. I drink I do drink water though. I do drink water. So mm. I, I in try between, to, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Water you know, chaser, very important. Stay hydrated while you're drinking. Some crazy Yahoo want to do shots to this. Okay, let's do it. it, it we, we we living, baby. And then get home, and I'm on my way, and it's like, oh, no. So free liquor oh, no. is your trigger. Well, I buy my own. Isn't man. it all DJs? I would think. Yeah, but. Yeah, if it's free, you're drinking it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Somebody, buy it for yourself. <laughs> and not only drinks. If somebody. Yeah, food. Like, if, no. If, if somebody oh, drinking, yeah. like, Buffalo <laughs> Trace or some shit Cocaine like that. Hell I don't know if you, you guys probably don't know what that is. Like what? this Buffalo Trace or like a uh, a Willet or something like that or like some Pappy. Okay. And heard they, of that. And Never they heard ask, of that. hey, would you like some Pappy? Yes, I would like Pappy. Absolutely. You got damn right. That's liquid gold. That's like $125. Like yeah. maybe two fingers yeah. or some shit like, like that. It's like, a, a, like shit. You got damn right. Was it like 75 bucks an ounce or something like that? Something crazy. I know it's, it's the 75 might be the lowest. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Hell yeah. And motherfuckers buying that for you all night because you're doing your thing. Hell yeah. I got an embarrassing story. I got, I'll tell you guys. It was ninth grade. I'm hanging out with my boy James Iavino. Oh, Yo, shit. James. <laughs> Shout out to Jimmy. You shit your pants. Fucking James. Oh, okay. I did shit my pants. I have. Uh, oh, how you so, gonna fuck up the joke or uh, the story, Ramo? We're going. We're. we're <laughs> I can just we're, tell. We're going to play football. You know how everybody played football back yeah, in the ninth of course. grade? Yeah. Get all your buddies together. Well, we're about to leave, and uh, my buddy James Iavino hands me some chocolate. He's like, here, you wanted some chocolate bars? Oh, no, he fucked you up. And so I ate a couple of these chocolate bars. When oh, I say I fuck. ate the bars, I ate the whole bar of chocolate. A whole bar, which was, I think, nine doses of laxatives. Oh no. But I had he, no idea. Oh, it was a prank it was a prank he oh, did. Oh, that's me. fucked up. Yeah, the chocolate what an laxatives. Asshole. You don't remember those? Do you know did he the, Let me ask you, did the lax did the chocolate taste bitter? Cuz it, it wasn't good chocolate. It wasn't the greatest, but I was, you know, ninth grade hungry and when we were about to go play football, <laughs> he's like, "Here, eat this chocolate." It'll give you some energy before we go play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you still call him your friend? <laughs> I he's do. like, he's hut, hut, "No, so, he's not." <laughs> He's so a I, dick. I eat he poisoned you. He would go to jail right now if he did that. You, to you, 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 hell yeah, give you some energy because you're gonna be running as fast as you can <laughs> get to the bathroom. They can throw you a fly route. So we, get you can go catch you for shit himself. We get over to the fields. We get, Round, we get over to the fields. We pick teams. Next thing you know, I'm going out for a pass. <laughs> I'm running all of a sudden. <laughs> my stomach is like gargling, and I go, "Oh no!" I rip one, and it sharks in my pants. Oh, oh yeah! But I didn't want to go home. I was like, I want to keep Everybody playing. Everybody smelled that shit. Next thing you know, somebody tackles me. And they're like, oh, "Somebody oh, smells like shit." shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then they looked at my pants. They were like, "Oh, it's." You had a blowout stain pants. on the back of your shit. <laughs> <laughs> Chili Did on the you back of your yourself, baby? <laughs> then I, I looked over at James Iavino, this son of oh, a bitch. Yeah. And he's like, ha ha, gotcha. He pulls out the wrapper. <laughs> oh, 
for fucking lax. X, oh, X lax, no. laxatives, chocolates. James, you are the real MVP. He probably buddy. got shit yeah, all over whoever tackled real. him too. Wherever you are, yeah, you are. So I had to ride. I, I was Hats riding my you. bike back then. This was before I had a car. Can't ride his bike with the shit. <laughs> <laughs> it had a banana seat on it. <laughs> I had to ride my bike <laughs> all the way home. Oh man! With my butt cheeks punched up. <laughs> so that no more shit came out of my ass. But you oh, already yeah. had like all down your leg already, and it was all doing the porta potty or no shit. Where you at? So every time we got together to play basketball or football, every time it was always like, ah, oh, check Gentry's pants. He might have shit himself. He might have shit himself. <laughs> that was You're lucky it didn't happen when somebody tackled you. I, I think I told the story on the on the, the air before where That's I shit funny. myself on the way to the fair, and I had told that story. But it's basically <laughs> the same thing. We were having a little farting contest in the back of my friend's his dad. His dad was driving us to the fair. Lee County Fair, we're in the back. Yeah, farting contest, and then I fucking had a blowout. <laughs> like, oh. the, the fucking blowout of all blowouts, yeah. boy. Ooh, dude. You were on your way to in, the- in a covered like we're in the back of the truck. It's oh, covered. It's got no. the windows. We're the, and the kid opens the windows. Ooh, daddy, daddy. Tommy shit himself. Oh. And, the, and the dad looks back. He's like, ah, oh, damn, boy. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> going to the fair, didn't turn around, had to get out, go in the bathroom, wow. like throw my underwear away, clean up as much of the shit as I could, Damn. and then ride the fair rides for the rest of the night with shit all over my ass. Oh. I bet you was all itchy. Everybody was like, this kid's oh. His booty was all itchy and scratchy. That sucks. The struggle dude. was real, Ramo. <laughs> All right, we've only got time for <laughs> my, poor, my poor friend, dude. You wow. <laughs> we've only got time for one more quick story here. All right. Please I'm, no. I'm being told that Alex Jones is back on Twitter. That motherfucker. We yeah. have a clip here from the owner of X, uh, Twitter, Twix, whatever you're calling it these days. That's a good thing. Uh, this is uh, Elon Musk talking about how he will never let Alex Jones back on Twitter. If we could roll the tape from the truck. Roll it. Roll that sweet bean footage. Yeah. Oh, I thought we had a uh, I thought we had a video, but I guess it's just a tweet. He uh where's the tweet at? I don't see. My it. firstborn child died in my arms. I felt his last heartbeat. I have no mercy for anyone who would use the deaths of children for gain, politics or fame. So, I guess he's uh mentioning the fact that Alex Jones said that Columbine was it Columbine or what was the he, he was said, saying it Sandy wasn't, Hook, it didn't Sandy happen, Hook, Sandy or Hook. whatever. Right, okay. And they pissed, you know, the parents obviously were distraught by that. Well, so I don't, I don't know that that's saying that he would never let Alex Jones back on Twitter. Huh? So what's the deal here? Maybe it's just banned for a while. Uh, yeah, it kind of was. He says bring, uh, then somebody tweeted, oh, bring, bring back, back Alex, Alex Jones, Jones, and he, he says, says no. no. Nah. But he changed his mind. I don't think he, uh, I, I was thinking that he came out and said, I will never. Let Alex Jones back on Twitter. Uh, we do have some clips here, though, from uh, from Alex Jones. Too bad he said at the end there. Uh, this Elon is uh, th- this is a clip of uh, some things that Alex Jones has said. Hopefully, we don't get kicked off of YouTube for playing. Some there he is. Stuff. Fuck They're this guy. Interdimensional up. invaders. Okay, I'll oh, just say Lord. it. Make fun of me all you want on CNN or wherever, but everyone already innately knows this. These people are not freaking humans. Okay, Hillary Clinton is a god. <laughs> I've never uh, seen this. Guy. I would agree. I would agree with. All him. I know is psychopaths oh, is operate. Crazy. They're not human. I don't like them. This is hey. worse than I had imagined it is. You know, I don't want this to have ever happened, but I wish it was real instead of fake. That is a hundred times more scary. Sandy Hook is a synthetic, completely fake, with actors, in my view, manufactured. <sighs> it's more than these dead poor children. I just, you got to go with your gut, man. My gut tells me. I've never felt this freaked out. It just is the they have him at the WWE or three dollar bill. Info, info, infowars.com. That was his thing. Yeah, yeah. infowars. Yeah, he's he, a crazy guy. He's wild and crazy, and I guess he's back on Twitter, so could be entertaining. Yeah, he'll say some old dumb shit. I mean, having him having him on that, Twitter right? or off Twitter, he's still either saying it or not saying it, and then I get that Twitter has become a public square, so people seem to want to regulate. Um speech on it but i mean at the end of the day who cares what he says yeah 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 it's crazy obviously let's go to our like myself 
not so good news. <laughs> it's We're finding that out. Being brought to you by BetterHelp. If you go to betterhelp.com slash outcast, you can save 10% on your first month's therapy. I know the holidays can be a trying time. Bring on a lot of stress. Maybe you could talk to a professional. Get matched up with a therapist Spring. by going to betterhelp.com slash outcast and save 10%. Tomcat, what do you got for us? Yo, yo, yo. It is December 13th today, 2023. It's T-Swift's birthday. She's 34, as we heard. It's also Jamie Foxx's birthday. He's 56 years old. Steve Buscemi, I love that guy, 66 years old. Dick Van Dyke, 98 years old, baby. <laughs> Ted Nugent, 75 years old. Uh, this day back in 2003, Iraqi President Sedan Hussein was captured by U.S. forces during the Iraq War. Three years later, he was found guilty of crimes against humanity and was executed. <sighs> it is National Ice Cream Day, mm. National Fucking Cocoa Day, it's, National it's Horse Day, Cocoa Day. Fucking fucking Cocoa. National Violin Day. Don't interrupt. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Three referees this week were caught on video getting into a fist fight at a youth basketball tournament in Lakewood, Colorado on Saturday. Police are currently investigating the incident. I think we got some video up here. Uh, referees fighting. Roll the tape. Whoa. What the fuck is going on? This video is taken nice. by a spectator during the fourth quarter of the game between Cherry Creek and Legend Blue. In the video, you can see one referee taking a swing at another. Oh. Causing the ladder to fall to the ground. That didn't stop him, though. Terrible form. All lookers have neither to jump one in of to them stop the fight. Neither one of them have Ooh. a professional stance. There was one good swing there, though, by well, the Well, that was a young dude. A little young dude uh, yeah, popped yeah, yeah. the old man in the There have the been jaw. no arrests made in this melee. The, fi the fighting referees then fled the scene and were nowhere to be found once the police showed up. They dipped. <laughs> well, you know. Do a flag wow. on the play and that, was, that. Uh, that was a technical foul for sure. That's hilarious. Flagrant. All right, this is a new policy from Southwest Airlines that has some people all happy and some people kind of angry. Southwest Airlines celebrated a policy will give full row to passengers of size for free. Customers whose what? bodies encroach past the armrest are entitled to an extra seat according to Southwest inclusion policy. They are currently one of the few, if not the only airlines, to offer a free seat to larger passengers. The Southwest policy says that passengers of size have the option of purchasing just one seat and then discussing your seating with the customer service agent. If it's deemed that a third, a second or third seat is needed, you'll be accommodated with a complimentary additional seat. The flight team will then try to make an effort to make seating arrangements, potentially moving other passengers around for the unplanned accommodation. What's funny to me about this is that actual people working for Southwest are going to have to size up fat asses. Yeah. You're going to have to be like, well, let me get a look at that ass. Uh, get You're the uh, measuring tape out there, Bill. We're going to have to measure this ass. <laughs> we got a big one out here. Oh, right we now. do. Uh, you know what? Your ass is big enough. Congratulations. You get two seats, you fat ass. No, all they have to do is like set out like, you know how... At like Bush Gardens and Disney World, they have to sit here can first. You, can you fit? Can in the you seat? fit the chair? Yeah. <laughs> but instead, wow. of, no, but, you need two chairs. Sorry. But instead of it being something where the person of size is gets in trouble for not, for being of size, they actually get a benefit. They yeah, get yeah. two free seats. Where it's like, if I go on the plane, well, I may not be of size, but hey, I want two free seats just because I want two free start, seats. I'm start skinny. eating more. I want two get free fatter. Seats. Yeah, you get fatter. Gain like three hundred pounds. Why I you guys fat that, I need two people. free seats. Yeah, no. <laughs> you needed that at the fair that one time. Uh, also got another <laughs> cool story. This one is about the Suns DJ who remixed Steve Kerr's harsh words for his in-game music at the Footprint oh, Center. Yeah. Check I us out. That. Playing with great communication. You can hear everybody, you know, um, talking defensively. Although in this building you can't hear anything because it's like a club. It's like a it's like a South Beach club out there. What are we doing? I'm being dead serious. Like I couldn't hear anything out there. It's just the whole whole game. It's just this thumping techno club music. Can we Bullshit. just have a basketball Bullshit. game anymore? What the hell? Sorry for the rant. In this building, you can't hear anything because it's like a club. It's my man it's out like in a, Phoenix. It's like a South Beach club. It's just. We made a remix out of what he said? Yeah. Techno club music. Thumping. <laughs> oh, that's the Phoenix Suns DJ. So yeah. He's trolling Steve Kerr. Yeah. It's my man DJ Villa. 
Da, 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 da. Little mash up there. Nice. Oh, that's nice. actually yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, that was cool. Uh, my last story is a woman, the woman who threw a Chipotle bowl at a worker. She's working at Chipotle. The woman who Chipotle. threw the bowl at her, we got the video, the actual original video. She got sentenced to work two months at Chipotle. Now, look Chipotle. at this video. And she see got if sentenced that was to work? Disgusting. Yep, at Chipotle. Boom! Wanted. Chipotle. Wow. Now, do you think this is worth it? Two months at Chipotle for this. Of them. Here's why. <laughs> He also gave her the option to get... Hey, that's Steve Aoki's move. She got a month in jail, <laughs> and she got two months working at a fast food job. It has to be Chipotle or any... Probably any fast food place. And where's this at? Here's why. This is in New York. gave her the option to get 60 days of jail What do you think? The judge took them. Here's the judge sentenced her to 180 days in jail, but suspended 90 Bang. of them. Here's why. He also gave her the I option to, to get 60 <laughs> days of jail credit. The judge told Hain that, that she shit. would have to work 20 hours a week. 20 hours at this fast food joint. Now, this would have been better if it would have happened at a brothel. Yeah, then you had to go in there and lay on your back. <laughs> the judge, yeah, but what was the she judge be throwing? Yeah, two months. Yeah. Two Don't months shit at the... <laughs> Get in there. Better get plenty of lube. We've only got <laughs> one more show to do before we get to 2024. Next wow. week's show. Don't miss it. God's willing, we'll be here for the last show of the year. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. What are we doing? Who knows? I mean, what cocaine. are we doing? Nobody what, what, knows. What are we what ever are doing? We're not doing cocaine. Yeah, yeah. None of that. None, uh, it's no. time for us to get out of here, and uh, we're going to play some b-ball. So I'm excited about that. Right. Did uh, you guys see the, uh, Will Smith and uh, Jazz and Jeff on the Grammys? Yeah, they were good. They killed it, man. Yeah. That's Hell good. Yeah. 50 we'll years. Slap anybody. 50, 50 years of hip hop. That's right. Thank Boom. God for hip hop. Yeah, Speaking man. of 50, I love the fact that 50 just keeps going after Diddy and puts his Timberland boot right on his neck. 50, wow, man. 50 always doing some shit, boy, but he on puffy ass. I'm starting to wonder if Not that's even his account. Sense, though, but a fake he, he account. fucking with him. All right, well, that's going to do it for the Outcast podcast. Uh, this was episode. 94. Pretty oh, impressive. Shit. 94. If you're not going to be good, well, then be good at it. That's going to do it for us. Peace out, y'all. We're out of here. Enjoy the day. God bless. You Jesus. got anything to say, Tomcat? No, be good to yourselves, man. Happy holidays. Why you look like you about to ski down Breckenridge? <laughs> Happy nice. Kwanzaa. Happy Hanukkah. All that stuff. Ooh. All that stuff. Happy yeah, yeah, yeah. Kwanzaa Hanukkah. Whew. I ain't say that. See you next week. Yay. See ya. Hey, I'm Kat, mom of three and founder of Ritual, the company setting a new standard in the supplement industry. When I was pregnant, I remember staring at my prenatal vitamins and thinking, what's in this stuff? All I found were vitamins high in heavy metals and lacking in the very essential nutrients we need. So we scoured the world for the best quality ingredients, backed by clinical studies, third-party tested, and Ritual's essential prenatal was born. Join our family of skeptics with 40% off your first month when you visit ritual.com slash podcast.